Hey there, what is up, player community? All right, guys, got something to show you. And uh, so I had to take in everything because today we're going to get dreadfully cold again where we're going to be getting frost. So I had to take in a lot of things. And then tomorrow, Friday, we're going to be getting down to freezing. So I'll have to take in my last two palms. But I'll show you what palms I usually keep out during frost. Keep out the uh, lady finger palm or finger lady palm, however you want to call it. I keep him out usually because he can withstand the frost. Now there is a little bit of um, foliage here that's a little brown. Don't know why that is. I know it's definitely not due to the frost because if it was the frost, you'd see it right on here. And we don't really see it on here. Oh, oh. I accidentally got that one hooked into there with the new prawn. But yeah, we don't really see much damages really at all. So, I mean, even if it is a bit of frost, you know, got the nodes down here. But really, uh, it, it was doing this before, um, before it was even brought outside. So I don't know, maybe I'm overwatering it or, you know. Yeah, but these could also be old fronds too, just aging fronds. All right, but got something interesting to show you guys. My Trekkie Carpus Fortunii. I bring him outside, you know, I, I keep him outside as much as I can, but if you look on the newer and stiffer fronds that are more built for outside, they fold in. They're not out like these guys, out exposed. So they fold in. And what they do is, when they fold in like that, it's more of to preserve the um, foliage. Preserve all the cold wind, knocking out all that moisture and things. And it's really interesting. It's really cool that they do that. It's also another way for them to uh, keep a bit warmer whenever it's colder out. And we're definitely going to get cold. We're supposed to get cold rain, and then after the cold rain... We're going to be getting, um, snow. But if we look down here, it's getting, it's growing, it's growing. It's got a bit of a, I ain't coming off, I ain't coming off. But we got, it's thickened up a bit, you know, it's thickened up a bit right there. So it's getting there, maybe not as fast as I would like because it's not in the ground, but you know, but yeah. Leaves fold up on that one. And uh, this one right here, of course, the foliage doesn't fold up like that. So I kind of keep him more protected up here on the porch because the wind, when it blows, as you can see from the foliage, it kind of blows in more this way. See it right there on the palm where the lower fronds are blowing this way. So this protects it more from the wind. Now, I would have my Chinese fan palm out here, but it kind of took enough damage. I, f I forget that they can, sometimes I forget that they can take cold, even frost, but they don't like to have the snow on them. That's rule number one that I always keep forgetting, but it's, it's surviving, so. Anyways, that's it. Just wanted to show you a few of the palms I do keep out into the cold, and uh, that do all right for me out in the cold. Again, this browning of the foliage. If anybody give me advice on maybe why it's doing that would be helpful. Like I said, it's done it indoors and it did it way before I even brought it outside to adapt to the cold. So yeah, if anyone's got any advice would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise than that, guys, like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out and it really helps the channel out. All right, guys, have a good rest of the day.